Waka waka waka, what's up? And welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch Eagle Moss review. Getting down in the collection there. We do got more on the way. But today, we're going to be taking a look at the Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser as seen in Deep Space Nine. And uh, it's been a while since our last Gem Hadar ship, since we did the battleship back when I first opened up the channel. It was one of the first ships I ever reviewed. So we're going to kind of go back and review this ship. But first off, you know how we do it here. We take a look at the magazine first. So let's get right to that. We'll move the Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser out of the way. And let's take a look at the magazine. And of course, it kind of feels like a different material. Of course, this is issue 13. Uh, I got this some time ago, back when Eagle Moss was open. I think I got it on sale. And there we have the Gem Hadar Battleship. And uh, it, this rendering looks really, really good. I kind of wish the model uh, borrowed some pop from this rendering because it looks really nice. We have, of course, some of the bug ships uh, down below. And it is, of course, a heavy cruiser launched in the 24th century with a length of 639.75 meters and a warp speed of 9.6. It's the Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser. It is the way of things. All right. And there, because they have a table of contacts, Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser creating the Dominion, designing the ship and on screen. And then, of course, we have the stand instructions. Of course, you know, this is a very similar stand to our Gem Hadar Battleship. If you click, if you uh, check that out in my Eagle Moss playlist. Uh, yes, of course, a shameless plug. And then, of course, we have a nice, uh, very nicely colored uh, frontal view of the Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser looking very menacing. It is commanded by the Dominion. It's a heavy cruiser at six or 39.75 meters looks like i've said this all before warp 9.6 and 2500 approximate crew probably mostly shock troops six polaron beam emitters torpedo launchers and bore or breed energy dampening weapon and that's it and of course there we have our uh shots of course of the front end we have the uh bottom view and then of course the engine the impulse engine view and let's open up the page. And of course, we have a similar view to the front of the magazine. And uh, there we have the Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser. And Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser bristling with powerful weaponry. The Gem Hadar Battle Cruiser proved a highly destructive adversary during the Dominion War. And again, I, I don't need to explain to everybody my love for Deep Space Nine. I actually absolutely think it's uh, pretty much my favorite uh, science fiction uh, arc storytelling. Um, and of course, there we have the episode from Sacrifice of Angels. We have a bit more of the Dominion fleet, the Dominion and the Cardassians, loyal subjects of the Dominion. Then, of course, we have our orthographic views and they are ever so cool sorry for the glare but you can see how everything works on here and i just think it's so cool that we have these because we, we see this ship you know we see quite a bit of it in deep space time but we never get an up close and personal view but i do like the renders uh the the look of the colors on the render then of course we have the gem hadar creating the dominion we have a uh, way young and odo from the episode where uh the one way young rebelled Weighing four or five, and then of course we have the Vorcha, or I'm sorry, not the Vorcha, <laughs> the Vorda, it's the Ho excuse me. Um, and then of course we have the female changeling, and then of course some more shots on Deep Space Nine, and then of course we have oop, we have our various concept arts. Ooh, I actually think this is a pretty neat concept for a ship. It'd be nice to have seen that. Of course, we have an early concept here with smaller versions of what looked like the upper nacelles, looking really cool. And then of course, wow, a lot. All these concept designs uh i would have liked to see in the show they look really really good i think even better than the final product uh but there you go and then of course we have uh yet another shot of the dominion fleet and then of course ending with a nice lower orthographic view of the dominion battle cruiser and there we go and of course we always do our stand instructions even though this is pretty typical by this point you just put the peg in the rectangular hole and uh, you can see it only clamps on at one spot you're going to clamp on right over here around the impulse drive and uh there you go and it kind of has an upward stance i'll bring the camera down so you can see it real quick because it looks like it's going off into outer space and let's get a good look at the green 
excuse me, the Dominion Battle Cruiser. And yeah, um, so no transparent plastic on this first off, uh, which is kind of a shame because I love the color palette and I think it's oh it's cool how we see some ships that use the kind of the green and the yellow transparent plastic. It would have been nice to see like a purple shade of transparent plastic on this ship. Now, one pro I can give you is that the weight, the weight's there, man. Uh, the, this ship feels pretty substantial. It feels, it feels like you got some die cast right in here. Um, uh, nacelles, of course, on here are plastic. And again, you have uh, just nice shades. Of, you have like this uh, kind of silverish purple and then a really nice bright purple and the, like, kind of a more neutral purple. You got some uh, bronzes in here. Again, lots of really neat, unusual colors in this model. And that's what I think is really a uh, kind of high point of the model. Um, now, I will say this is more ship design thing. Um, this kind of looks like your typical generic alien ship. Like, when you think of a sci-fi show, this looks like something uh, generic you would see. I've never, uh, I, while I do not mind this design, I've never been crazy about it. Um, you can see they got kind of window detail right here. That is pretty neat. It looks just looks like it's dabbled on, but it is pretty neat. This is supposed to be, I believe, the troop hold of the, of the ship. So that is really cool. And again, you got nice silvers uh, along here, uh, along the purple uh, bow. And then, of course, you got uh, bronzes going down. Lots of nice molded detail. In fact, all these panels, they're all molded in. So again, it's a feast for the fingers, as I like to say. You got the upper nacelles. You got kind of a ribbed feel back here. Feels very nice. Then, of course, you have kind of what looks like the bridge area. It's kind of outlined in a little thin film of bronze. And, of course, you got some molded bronze detail back here. And if we go to the back of the ship, you can see the uh, impulse engines done in a nice purple. They got like a kind of a honeycomb feel. And uh, then, of course, you got some panel lining going all the way back. And I love the shades of purple down here. They look like energy conduits looking really good. And then you got some bronze and silver detailing uh, molded detail back here. It looks really, really good going down to the nacelles. Again, just a really stunning looking ship and a lot of solid weight to it. I just, you know, again, and it, this is by no means the fall of the model. It just kind of does look a bit generic, big bad. Uh, but again, you can't fault Eagle Moss for that. They were following what the model has. So definitely from a model perspective, this is really, really neat. And for a quick comparison, let's bring it in with uh, its... Uh, brother the dominion battleship we can kind of see the similar aesthetic here of course we all know that uh scaling not being what eagle moss thrives on so of course uh the battleship should be significantly bigger it's not even it shouldn't even be even close and you can just see the battleship loaded with more armament um uh, again just looking uh still kind of carrying the same uh, profile as the battle cruiser, but you can just see uh, a bit different, of course, a bit different in coloring as well. Uh, but you can definitely see some of the design elements from the concept that made it into the battleship, so that is really cool. And there we go for that. And real quick, let us, we're going to keep the battleship here because, bring the camera down, let's do a whole family shot of our Dominion fleet thus far. And I think I've reviewed quite a few of these. I think the uh, Galore class is the only one that I haven't reviewed. And that will come, but it's such an older model. I'm trying not to, you know, trying to not get the Breen in here. And uh, there we go. And what a fleet we have here. Uh <laughs> destroy the federation so uh just a real quick humor on my part and there we go for that so let's summarize and there we have it for the eagle moss official star trek starships collection issue number 13 the gem hadar battle cruiser and yeah barring my opinions on the ship design in general this is a really really cool model with a really nice premium feel it's got a good weight love the use of various colors the various purples the silvers the bronzes um and it definitely got a nice lot of pants handling detail, lots to run your fingers over, lots to explore in this model, lot to love about this model. And if you are a fan of alien ships or Deep Space Nine or the Dominion in general, I do highly recommend this model, uh, especially if you can find it in stock at Master Replicas or RealMunch.com. I'll do a scouring before I post the video, and if I find it, I'll post a link to the description below so you can buy this for a fair market price on Master Replicas or RealMunch.com. Even so, feel free to check out those sites for all of your Eagle Moss needs. You will not be disappointed they definitely uh 
fit the bill as far as price and they are awesome on shipping and we do have quite a few ships incoming from them in the coming weeks so be sure to subscribe to check that out and while we're on the subject of subscribing if you found this video fun and informative consider hitting the like button down below also consider subscribing to my channel as well thank you so much to those of you who already are 441 strong and i am so excited as we come up to a year of existence for this channel uh definitely thank you for following me on this journey and that being said that is going to conclude this review i have been fc finch thank you so much for watching live long and prosper